Good afternoon guys, happy Sunday. Yeah. Look how ginormous this hood is. <laughs> um, we've come to Stoke Bardolf in the not too heavy rain um, to walk Molly. It's not that far away from where we live. And since she doesn't like the car, it's kind of a perfect place. And there's some wood so she can run around in, so she's going to love it anyway. But uh, we have a bit of a cow problem. One moment and I'll show you. It's our cow problem. <laughs> so Molly's on the lead for now. Because she would try and take on these cows, even though they're like a hundred times the size of our little Jack Russell. I think they're quite friendly though. I'm not particularly scared of cows. You're a bit of a wimp though, aren't you, when it comes to nature? Only when Molly's around. <laughs> so he says. Aww. Oh look, this one looks like it's going to say hello. <laughs> oh dear. God, he's trying to eat a can of strongbow. Shall I try and take it off him? No. Why? Well, he could. He'll move away, I suppose. Just throw it on the other side of the fence. There's no bins around. This could be my death before everyone knows. I don't want him to hurt himself on it. It just doesn't seem overly bothered I'm standing here, though, let's be honest. She gave me a heart attack. Maybe that was a warning, I should leave it. It was gonna help you out, guy. I was. Some people are so trampy, aren't they? Leaving like cans of strongbow. Hey, Molly. <laughs> what you found? Hey. <laughs> <laughs> she just went in that hedge. Yeah, yeah oh, thanks. Oh, she just went in that hedge and. Uh, Squirrel, pheasant, all sorts of things came out after she went in. Didn't catch anything though, did you? <laughs> We're now doing the little woodland walk that runs alongside the River Trent. It's State Bard off. Molly loves the woods. There she goes. <laughs> I don't know if you saw that, the tree is just like bouncing along. She's mad. What have you seen? <laughs> Hopefully she might actually be tired later. She won't. I have momentarily lost John and Molly because he's on a look at a car. There's some kind of Porsche over there, but it's doing they're doing something to it just sitting on the back of a trailer so him and two other random people we don't know are also looking at it are you coming to see me molly hello <laughs> oh he's coming this way we're on our way back to the car so we've come back where that cow had that strongbow can um but the cows obviously as you can see have moved on so we're looking for the strong bow, so we thought they might end up coming back this way and we can put it in the bin. Oh, you found it? Woo, we couldn't find it. We thought, oh God, it has it actually eaten it. Oh yeah, well, I can see it. Yay! Molly's coming to help. <laughs> Love the way you're picking it up like cow slobber. <laughs> Lovely. Oh, nice. <laughs> Come to the relatively new garden centre East Bridgeford. Look how massive it is! We've never actually been here before since it's been done up, but we've been informed it is pretty amazing. So I can't wait to see all the Christmas stuff and hopefully eat some tea and cake because that is very important in my life. How cool is this place? There's so much stuff. I want a lavender plant, but these are all succulents, and I probably don't really need any more succulents. You had to touch it. You had it to didn't touch do anything. It. But yeah, they've got some interesting looking pots because if I'm going to have a lavender plant, I need a pot and it has to go with my decor. So it needs to be white, grey. Mind you, I'm putting a room with blue in. What are you doing? 
Ah, oh, Fiona, that's my sister's name. <laughs> Christmas present? Probably won't stay alive that long though. <laughs> it's a bog plant. <laughs> that is me, you can't give my sister a bog plant. Oh, I so can. <laughs> I so can. Got all these candles. Oh, ginger and lily. Mm, no, that smells like my hay fever. <laughs> Oh, yeah, those are the kind of ones I wanted for Christmas. I want one of these, like, what are they called? Essential oil diffusers. It's supposed to be good for sleep. <laughs> no, not feeling it. Don't understand it. What do you mean? Because they go up into the air and they help you with like, sleep and relaxation and stuff. They just trigger me asthma. No, they're supposed to be good for things like that. Yeah. yeah. L4. Look at all these. Christmas, kids would love this. I'm sure. What are you? Are you buying an elf? No. For yourself. <laughs> elf for yourself. <laughs> Beautiful as always. <laughs> Jaunty. Yep, that's one way of looking at it. I'm trying to make a decision about cake. We're failing. Oh, you've got. Oh. Open raisin. Yeah, I'm not going to like that. Look at all the cake. I still think I kind of want one of these arty farty ones. Look how good that is. What should I have, John? Make a decision for me. Fruit meringue nest. Yeah, I might have that. Watch this space. <laughs> I went for this fruit meringue nest. Uh, look at all that fruit. And of course, a green tea. Very important. All those lovely speciality teas. And what did you get, John? Black tea. <laughs> He's got a cute teapot though, and I don't have that. I just have a yellow one. That's a bit disappointing. What did you, what did you get? Homemade and raisin cookie. Uh, <laughs> all right there. I can't wait. They've even got an ice arena outside. No one's on it. You know, they've still got it. What are you looking for? So, massive. That pot is like the size of our garden. Yeah. Yeah. What, well, this one? Yeah. No, well, yeah. I do like some of these pots, but I haven't got anything to put in them. We have a dragon. Apparently, we have a dragon. I want a dragon. <laughs> I want a dragon. God, it's a bit, it's a bit massive. <laughs> oh God! Have a goblin. Oh, a dragon. I don't think we need a dragon. We need a dragon. We don't need a dragon. Yeah, moink. Moink, moink. I'm bored of Christmas songs already because I'm on at work as well. I've been at work since Saturday. I feel sorry for the people who work here. The decorations it is so beautiful in here I'm not even a Christmas person and I'm loving it floss John though it's probably waiting patient for me somewhere oh there he is hi thought I would show you my haul from the garden centre, a little mini haul. Um, first off I got this aloe vera plant which was I think £3.99. It's supposed to be really good to have in your bedroom because they help aid sleep, I'm really bad at sleeping, and good for people with asthma, my husband is asthmatic. The pot was separate which was £4.99, yes £4.99, um, but I like the colour blue because that's what we've got in our bedroom so it goes with that. 
Then I got this little star decoration. I got two of them. I think they were £2.50 each. And um, we have an all year round tree. So it's just like a white twig tree. And I've got a lot of metal and um, silver sort of decorations on it when it's not got seasonal deco on. So I thought these would look really nice on there. And then I've gone Christmas and I've got this wreath. It's quite a big look. Ooh, for £9.99. Um, it's going to go over my mirror in the living room. I've got some like pom-pom decorations over there, but for Christmas I'm going to put this up, I think, because I want kind of like um, lots of fruit and, you know, berries and greenery and wood and stuff for my Christmas decorations this year. I think that will look nice. There you go. Just wanted to show you um, some of the Christmas decorations I've got so far. All of these are from the range. They have like a massive Christmas section there and they've got quite a lot for the type of decor that I want um, for my decorations this year. So I got these. Look how pretty they are. These are like £2.50, I think. Um, these were like only 59p each, obviously I got two. And then I've got this one as well, which I think was again something like £2.50 or something like that. Um, as well so i think we'll be going back there and getting some more because they have loads in there and they're just so beautiful good evening everybody me and john are just getting ready to go back to the village that we grew up because we both grew up in the same village really useful at christmas and um, so i'm going to go and see my parents this time and he's going to go dancing because he started dancing their lessons and stuff when he was like 16 and um, obviously while we were living at home still so he's going back there to do some actual dancing rather than teaching and things so um he's looking forward to that I am probably going to the pub with my parents as well after going to their house. So I've got I've got my poppy. I've got my new H&M cardigan, which is like £8.99. And my new boots from ASOS. Look at the stud detail. Love these. Um, so yeah, and then these are my Primark skinny jeans. And as you can see, the H&M cardigan is quite long. And my uh, white top is tucked into my jeans. So yeah. Also done my makeup for a change and the hair, tried to sort that out, it's been tied up all day so it was a bit of a no-win situation. Um, the lipstick is Barry M and it's called, ooh, oh, Rosemance. I really like the colour of any, anyway, it's kind of a pinky colour, I don't know if you can really see, but it's pink anyway. Um, a bit more subtle than red, which I usually go for. So yeah, that is my outfit. Don't know if you're even interested in that, but there you go. Hubby is all dressed up for his dancing tonight, aren't you? Yeah. Who are you trying to impress? Yeah, well, okay. Friday night. He's looking ladies. smart. Yeah. <laughs> all about 90. <laughs> your mum, your dad. Oh, and your That's brother. <laughs> no, but don't forget your Grandma. brother as well. Oh, yeah, he's and your gran. Yeah, <laughs> Lee's not going. Oh. But yeah, show us your outfit. Pose. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful. Mum's alarm's going off. She's trying to find it. You get. No, you're cold, Molly. It's not that direction. Try over there. <laughs> you can't figure it out. Where is it? Look, it's over here. Yeah, we've come to the pub. Little Molly's sitting there. No, you can't come on someone's knee. Mother dearest. Daddy dearest. <laughs> so yeah, we've come to the tavern in the village that I grew up in. I do like the decoration. Look at the decor. It's light. Very nice. And being good, look, non alcoholic as always. Yeah, there's some kind of party going on. It's quite noisy. I feel like I'm in a club in the middle of Nottingham. Hey guys, sorry I was a bit crap at filming last night at the pub. I did a little bit, but I think when you when you go down and um, you're having sort of a nice time, you don't want to like ruin the moment by whipping your phone out and filming things. So I only did a little bit. Also, um, a couple of my mum's friends came. Um, down as well and they were sitting with us and having a chat and a catch up because they've known me since I was like well before I was born and um, met them at like, antenatal classes or something when she was pregnant with me so I hadn't seen them for a while so we were catching up a bit and then John came down after dancing so obviously he was coming down and chatting and he went to school with a couple of the people that um, are children of the mum's friends so he knew who they were as well so we we're all having a big catch up basically so this afternoon it's Saturday and we're going to the cinema to see The Nutcracker, which I'm really looking forward to because it looks Christmassy and magical and I love films like that. So hopefully it's going to be good. Look at all the sweets. Do not take the whole place. I may have gone a little overboard on the sweets. I'm going to tell myself that I don't have to actually eat them all now, but I'm totally going to, aren't I? Yeah. 
Yes. <laughs> Just got back from seeing The Nutcracker. Really enjoyed it actually. There's so many different actors and actresses in it. I've got that like, Keira Knightley, even Jack Whitehall's in it, a bit random. Um, Morgan Freeman, Helen Mirren, loads of people. But it was a really nice film, very Christmassy, um, beautiful settings and stuff like that. Really nice. So yeah, I would recommend it, especially if you've got kids.